Now we can move on to using B tool, which is our first tool. So we'll go into um, the bin directory. So we'll go to Splunk bin. And I'm going to drop into a shell here. And I'm in Splunk bin. And we can practice using B tool. I can show you a couple different ways to go about it and kind of like my personal preference. Um, troubleshooting again for how it merges the configuration files that are present in your entire environment into one to run in memory. So let's take a look at inputs. So the stanza, if we remember, is Splunk B tool, the comp file you want to look at, and then list. Now, if you just press enter and run this, it's going to output it to standard out. And I find this terrible to read. It's hard to read, and it doesn't contain all the information that I like. So just an easier way to read it, too, is to just put it in a temporary spot in a text file on your machine. And then you can, you know, at least VI that file and read it in there. But I still think that's really not that great. And I don't want to read stuff in VI or really in the shell at all. So the next thing you can do is just go view it on your uh, file explorer. Um, and I like to do that, but I also like to run it with debug. And we'll see why um, in a second. So we saw the outputs of just without debug uh, in those two. But if we go and just look at this text file of inputs that we created, uh, make this a bit larger, you can actually see on the left here, this is the additional information you get with debug. You get the path that Splunk is pulling it from uh, when it's trying to reference all the inputs.confs that are out there, what it's grabbing. So it's grabbing inputs.conf from the TA windows in default for that monitor stanza. And as you go down, you can reference on the left the exact path where that inputs.conf is grabbing the information on the right. So you can start figuring out what's getting pulled from where, and you only get the information on the left when you run it with debug, so that's definitely a personal preference. Uh, when event log forward events, that's pulling it from the inputs.conf in you know, our TA app uh, and Etsy apps, Splunk TA windows in default, um, etc. So I don't think I have anything for local, uh, just you know, still got a, a new Splunk instance up here and haven't changed anything, but um, a very basic output for inputs.conf using btool and just viewing it in a simple text file is definitely a preference of mine. Let's go back to the command line and take a look at another configuration file. Uh, we just did inputs, so let's do outputs. Actually, let's just do props. Uh, you can follow the same syntax and just write it out to a new file so you don't overwrite inputs and you can write props. And you can do VI into it or you can just navigate to it and view it in a text document, which is what I like to do. Uh, enlarge it and uh, zoom in. And again, this is the B tool output of props where it's grabbing it from on the left. Uh, and the, the values uh, on the right. So you can scroll through and as you're troubleshooting, generally you would have an idea of what you're looking for and what you're searching for and something would stand out at you, but this is what you get with Btool. So congratulations, uh, we've covered the basics here of the comp files and how to run Btool and output it into a more easy to read format.